Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, so for today's video, I'm gonna do the part two of my designer shoe collection. Uh, so this part two will be about high heels and uh, also what else I have? High heels and boots. Um, of my designer collection. Uh, the first video was about my flats, my sneakers, and my slides. So if you guys are interested, you can check the video down, uh, the, the other video, I will link it down below so you guys can check it out. Uh, but today is just about high heels. So if you guys are interested, let's keep watching, shall we? So yes, this will be my designer collection part two. In this one, I'm really, really excited because it's actually my passion. I adore high heels. Um, I think people who know me for a very long time, they know that I always wear high heels. Now, the past two years, I think I have been introducing myself more into designer collect the designer shoes. There are more flats and sneakers because the trend has changed a lot the past two years. Like a lot of women don't wear as much high heels as before they were more sneakers flats more casual looks but i'm a huge fan of high heels so i always have in any occasion i try always to find the time to say mm, now i can wear high heels thank you jesus <laughs> before also when i went to work i always wear high heels now i don't do that anymore but that doesn't mean that I do love and appreciate all the shoes that I have. Um, a disclaimer is all the shoes I pay for my own money. Some of them were also a, a surprise from my husband and my family. But um, anything else I just bought with my own money. Um, so yeah, let's get started, shall we? I have to say another thing, uh, it's about my Christian Louboutin. Um, I do have a Christian Louboutin um, um, high heels or yeah high heels collection that I have been that I've done a long time ago I will link it down below I will not show uh, to you in this video my Christian Louboutin shoes because it was just a repeat uh, they're the same shoes and as in the other video I have been not selling them and I did not purchase new ones so it's exactly the same shoes that I own so I didn't want to put it into this video but it will be so long so if you guys are interesting I will link it down below the video so you can check it out okay the first designer will be Valentino. Valentino has, for, in my opinion, the best high heel shoes ever. Um, I love these shoes so much and they are the most comfortable shoe I ever tried. Uh, so the first pair of Valentino shoes that I ever bought are these Valentino Rockstead in the blue cobalt color in the patent leather. They look like this. You see them? And in the camera, they show true to color. They are really like cobalt bluey. They're beautiful. I just show one shoe first. They look like this. It's in the 10 centimeters um, heel and in the nude color here. And the Rockstead are in the champagne color. So these one are the Rockstead high heel. And this one is the first shoe I ever bought from Valentino. Uh, I wanted them so, so bad. Um, I actually wanted first the black version, but it was sold out everywhere. These are really, really old. This one is in a size 39. They're true to size. And they're just an amazing, amazing shoe. I'm so happy I got them. And I bought them in blue because it was the only color available together with a pink one, but pink one was not really my thing and I do have um, like a Celine uh, mini luggage tote bag that you guys already saw and with these these pair of shoes they're just perfect they match amazing um, these are the most comfortable shoes I ever own so I decided to buy another pair and the other pair is of course the black version also in patent leather and actually just one of them they are really really used and abused because this one is still my favorite shoe to wear and um, i have been thinking a very long time to buy also the one in nude 
because I love them so much. I feel like this one is the most comfortable shoe you will ever, ever wear. Uh, also 10 centimeters. I don't really like the kittle heel. I feel like it really looks old. Uh, I do prefer this because it elevates your legs and you just can dress it up, dress it down with um, boyfriend jeans and uh, like, a, like a white shirt or you can just wear it with like a beautiful dress. So these one are like my favorite shoes ever that I ever bought and I love them so so much so I'm so happy I got them. Next pair of shoes that I'm totally in love with are my Jambito Rossi shoes, the one with the Oh, how you call this one? Like, um, oh my god, like plastic around them. This one was so popular back in the days when Jim, uh, Kim Kardashian was wearing them. And this one are in suede black leather and 10 centimeters, also one of the most comfortable shoes I ever own. I'm so happy I got them. The, I have been using them to death. I have been using them in New York, uh, walking around, and to be honest, it's incredible. They're like very used and abused, but they're still in pristine conditions. Uh, yeah, and I wanted to purchase them as well in a gray suede, I saw them, and they're like beautiful. So this one could be my next purchase, to be honest. I do love them so, so much. Uh, next are my Jimmy Choo um, shoes. This one I wear after my wedding. As you guys may know, I had my uh, So Kate uh, in latte, um, white color uh, from Christian Louboutin for my wedding but then afterwards like the after party like after the eating and stuff I wanted to wear another pair of shoes and this one didn't let me down these one are the Jimmy Choo I bought them in New York a very long time ago and in the sales so I think I pay around $200 and they costed actually over 800 so yeah I had a really good deal I think it was a, a, during the Christmas um, sales in Saks Fifth Avenue and uh, exactly they're about them and they're amazing they fit so good they're nude they have 10 centimeters they have a plateau so they're also very comfortable and they're open here so yeah it's a really beautiful shoe I love it so much and this one is in a 40 so the first Valentino one, the blue one in cobalt, I bought in Milan a long time ago, like in the Rinascente store, this luxury mall. Uh, then my other pair of Valentino, the black Rockstar high heel, I bought on Luisa Via Roma as soon as they were available. And the Gian Vito Rossi I also bought in Rinascente in this luxury mall in Milan. Jimmy Choo, I told you. The next pair uh, is uh, one from Gucci, and these are the sandals in the nude color. I love them so, so much. Uh, it's like, I think it's like a nine centimeters high heel and they look just gorgeous. I bought them also, uh, that's my husband bought them actually to me and this one was also in sale and he bought them for me in Germany as a present. He's so cute. And these are just the really comfortable shoes, really like trendy and just amazing. Next pair of Gucci that I have are these ones. This one I bought in Pescara where my dad comes from and they're just beautiful shoe. The high, the high heel is not that high and I don't like it that much. I think it's just five centimeter heel, but the print is amazing. I don't know if you guys can see it has a good print on it and they're very comfortable shoes. And this one is in a 39. Next shoes are from Balenciaga. And these one are one of my favorite shoes ever. This one are uh, in the nude color with the typical studs of the Balenciaga. They're nude. And the size, I think it's 40, it's a 40 and a half, but I still rock them. And I bought them in sale at the Natalie Schutterman. It's like a, the biggest um, like luxury shop in, um, in Stockholm and they had like amazing sales so I bought these for 70% off so yeah they're beautiful I wore them to death uh, they fit good on anything and they're really really comfortable so they look like this next pair is from Yves Saint Laurent and these one are the classic tribu classic tribu sandals they look like this and they're black 
and they have a really high heel as you guys may see the plateau but these are like the classic Yves Saint Laurent shoe um, because of the plateau they are very very comfortable not as comfortable as the Valentino but still beautiful and I bought this in Stockholm Next pair I bought in uh, New York with my girls when we were at the trip there. And these are from Shoots. I wanted these shoes for so, so long. It's like a Brazilian uh, brand and they do the most fabulous sandals. And they remind me of the Stuart Weitzman, but these ones are just impeccable. They are in suede, leather, black leather, uh, 10 centimeter heel, and they fit good on anything. They are the most comfortable shoes that I own. No, I think Valentino are more comfortable, but after these comes, and they're just amazing. And I'm just thinking if I should buy them also in a nude color, because they're just beautiful. Next shoes are not for everyone. Uh, these one are the Alberto Guardiani shoes with a lipstick and the color is very odd. <laughs> they look like this. Alberto Guardiani, this I bought in Rome or like was a present and has of course the lipstick with the red. The classic one is the one in patent black leather with the lipstick and the lipstick you can actually change the color of it. Let me show you. When you purchase the shoes, it comes with different ones. You can have them in beige, in pink, the lipstick, as you want. But I prefer the red one. I have not been using them so much, but to be honest, it's like a piece of art. So I just want to leave them and just have them on the sideboard standing there because they're such a beautiful, beautiful piece. Now we're talking about boots. So the first boots that I bought is from Casa Dei. These I bought in New York with my girls and it's a high thigh boots, he, uh, uh, high heels. I don't know if you guys can see the heel. It looks like this. It's like really, really thin. And they're very long huh? because it's high thigh boots. And they are 10 centimeters high. And to be honest, I don't wear them that much, but I feel like they're such a beautiful piece. So when I do have good occasions, I wear them still because I feel they're beautiful. This one is in 40, because a day. Next and last pair of my designer collection uh, for high heels is another boot, and this one is from Prada. And this one is actually my favorite boot that I own. They look like this, they're in dark brown color. You see that? And I bought this in Stockholm and look, the heel is perfect, it's 10 centimeters. It's a little bit of plateau, but not as much. And they fit really good on the leg. And yeah, they're just amazing. I wear them so much during, Christ during winter, during uh, autumn and fall. They're just a perfect, perfect shoe. And I got so many compliments. The size is of course a 40. So guys, that was it for my shoe collection of part two with high heels and boots. I hope you guys enjoy it. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I would really, really appreciate it. If you like my video, click a thumbs up. And I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye.